Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Weinkoop. Uh, I grew up in Florida, on the west coast of Florida. Uh, grew up on the water, lots of salt water down there. Um, went to school at the uh, University of Florida undergrad. Then I went to uh, Temple for med school and then stayed there for my residency. And then ultimately for my pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine training and fellowship. While I was there in Philadelphia, I met my wife, Carrie. She's from uh, New Jersey. So uh, I was happy to move here to the Jersey Shore where there's plenty of salt water, four seasons, and uh, close to her family. I went into uh, pulmonary and uh, critical care and sleep medicine because I love uh, helping patients. I love taking care of people. Uh, I love the science aspect of it. Uh, many days you're like a, a detective trying to figure out what's going on and uh, putting the pieces together. Uh, I love working collaboratively with uh, other physicians uh, here at Ocean Medical Center. Getting enough sleep is important because there are growing uh, bodies of evidence, lots of literature to show that getting really less than seven hours of sleep can increase your risk for obesity, heart disease, make diabetes more difficult to control, uh, affect wound healing, and also increase your risk for not only traffic accidents, but accidents in general. So getting enough sleep is important, and there's multiple reasons actually for sleep deprivation. Many of us try to think that we're a superman or superwoman and can get by on just four or five or six hours of sleep per night, and that's just not the case. You know, ultimately that sleep debt builds up and causes health problems. But there's also the ability to get not enough sleep due to sleep apnea or other sleep disorders that fragment sleep and reduce the efficiency of sleep reduce the uh, quality of sleep. So you can still be in bed for seven, eight, nine hours trying to get enough sleep, but your sleep quality is not good, and so you're actually not getting as much sleep as, as your body needs. So a sleep study uh, is ordered by a sleep specialist if he or she thinks that uh, you may have sleep apnea, uh, periodic leg movement disorder, uh, sleep seizures, uh, REM behavior disorder, any of the broad spectrum of sleep disorders uh, that can affect sleep quality uh, and interfere with uh, your ability to get a good night's sleep. A sleep study is simple, safe, easy to do. Uh, it's simply showing up at a sleep lab around 9, 10 o'clock at night, having a trained sleep technician uh, hook you up to some monitoring equipment so that we can monitor brainwave activity, monitor uh, heart activity, monitor your oxygen saturation monitor movement and monitor airflow and snoring. Um, all of that sounds like a lot to be hooked up to, but it's actually all connected to one very small, simple disconnect. So if that you need to get up and go to the bathroom at nighttime, you can. You just disconnect it. When you come back, you put it back together. Uh, we grab that data. We use that data uh, from the sleep study to help us figure out if you have one of these many uh, different varieties of sleep disorders. Mm -hmm.